Hi folks, in this episode I'm going to show you how I installed High Beam Assist in my T6. This is possibly one of the easiest upgrades you could do. It requires minimal components and also minimal electrical skills. In the second part I'll cover a little bit about the MQB mirrors. They are easier and cheaper to source but do require a little bit more work. Enjoy the video! Okay, so to start off, these items here are the only components that you will need besides the new mirror. You will need the fabric tape. I used the one from Tezza. It's better priced than the original. The pin release tool is quite handy, so I recommend having that too. Only two wires are needed for the upgrade. This is a twisted pair canvas wire. And finally, you will need two sets of pins. These ones are for the new ends to go into the body control module. And these ones are the pins to connect the con bus to the mirror. Of course you will need a replacement high beam assist mirror too. It has a camera integrated right into its base. Let's talk about the mirrors a little. There are two types of high beam assist mirrors available. The standard mirrors have black plastic frame. There are also versions of rimless mirrors. Here I'm showing a difference between them. The rimless mirrors are harder to find, but if you go for the MQB mirror, these are not so rare. Now let's take a look at the wiring diagram. This here is a mirror connector. I'm labeling two canvas wires that need to be added. At the top of the diagram you can see the body control module connector. This is a white color connector that you will need to unplug in order to connect the new canvas line. The pin numbers in the white connector are pin 57 and pin 54. Pin 54 is orange violet color, which is the same as orange green later on. And pin 57 canvas low is orange brown. On the mirror connector, orange green wire connects to pin 3 and orange brown wire connects to pin 8. That's it! Only two wires need to be connected to make it work. Here you can see some of the tools that I used to cut and crimp the wires, although I'm sure you could easily get away with just scissors and a set of narrow nose pliers. Of course, if you are using a wire crimping tool, the result will look much better. Once the twisted pair is fully prepared, it's time to protect it with the fabric tape. After that, as you can see, I started to remove the mirror covers and the old mirror. I will not bore you with the removal process, here is a Volkswagen guide on how to do it. Next job was to remove the green wire from the connector pin number 3. It is a reversing signal that dims the mirror. Once you install a high beam assist mirror, the reversing message will be transferred over the CAN bus interface. Before removing or inserting pins from this connector, you will need to release the pins by pulling these locks out on both sides. Here I'm removing the cabin light using the credit card to give me access to do the wiring. You can see I already pulled the green wire out and isolated it with a shrink tube. It's time to lay the twisted pair. For this I removed the A-pillar panel. I'm using the yellow pull-through to guide the new wires across the roof. This bit will need to go to the mirror connector. And here I already laid it together with the rest of the cables. I inserted the new pins with the wires as per the wiring diagram. The final step was to install the new mirror with the camera and plug the connector back. By the way, I pulled the green wire out from the mirror harness. It will be hidden in the roof panel. The lights are going back in. The mirror base has special grooves to be able to slide the camera cover straight up. Now I'm back to A-pillar. The new cable is attached to the rest of the loom using the plastic clips. Lower down it will need to go through the dash panel into the body control module area. As per the wiring diagram, I'm unplugging the white connector from the body control module. This one is pin 57 and this one is pin 54. There are already wires that go into the instrument cluster from these pins. I crimped the two wires together using the fresh pins. As you can see, pin 54 is back with double wires. 
and now I will do the same for pin 57. Once the connector is back into body control module, it's time to code everything. You can see here the original VAS 5054A gray block for the Odis software. This is quite costly and if you are using the mirror from T6, this might be an overkill. The black VCDS cable will do just fine to code a standard mirror. I'm doing the coding here using Odis, but you can see the instructions on the screen how to do the same in VCDS. First, you need to tell the system that the new High Beam Assist module is installed. This is done by going into block 19 count gateway and enabling block 20 High Beam Assist. Secondly, you need to make changes to channels 53 and 54 in block 9 body control module. Both of these channels need to be set to 1. And final step is to go into the new block 20 high beam assist and check the coding there. Byte 0 is 0, 01 for halogens or 0, 04 for LED headlights. Byte 1 is set the same way. That's it. Now I will cover the MQB mirrors. T6s are built on PQ25 platform, which does not share many vehicles. On the other side, MQB platform has many car models and even brands, so it's much easier to find a nice mirror at a decent price. My rimless mirror is from MQB Golf 7. As you can see, the wire harness cover from Golf is a bit too long. The correct length is 85mm. You can see the difference in shape and length. After a bit of trimming, it will fit just fine. This is the final result. I hope I did a clean job here. As mentioned, the MQB mirrors cannot be used out of the box. You will need to connect Odis to your car using the grey adapter VAS 5054A shown earlier to reflash the mirror with the PQ25 software. So here I'm showing the process of reflashing which is pretty straightforward. I will leave a link in the description with all the details on how to do it. After installing high beam assist, a backward movement of the stalk should turn on the high beam assist function icon in the dashboard. When driving, the headlights are automatically going into high beam when there are no cars in front of the car. This automatically dims back once there is a light from the approaching or overtaking vehicle. I covered pretty much everything in this video. There are also settings you can change, such as speed thresholds, by going into the adaptation menu of the Block 20 High Beam Assist. I will add links to more information and all the part numbers in the description. A lot of effort was put into making this episode, so if you found this information useful, please like this video. Thanks for watching, and if you have anything to add, please use the comments below. For more transporter videos, please subscribe to this channel. Bye!